And guys, um, I kind of feel like I failed as a product reviewer. Um, every year I've been able to come up with a top sense of the year, top butters, top feel in beard. I've done a top feel in beard video for the past two or three years. I can't do one this year. And I'm going to tell you why in just a minute. But welcome. My name's Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we try to help you grow your best beer possible. Thank you for joining me. And I can't do I've I've reviewed 25 different companies, right? Full reviews of the companies this year. Um, and some of them have got multiple reviews because, I, you know, either I've went back and bought products for them or, um, you know, featured them in several different videos. Some of the affiliates I work with send me out a lot of products. But every company, their oil has worked well for my beard. Um, so, yeah, maybe there's a couple that I prefer, but it might just be, you know, the whole company, the butter, the oil, uh, familiarity. It might be the scents that I like that I'm going with. But every one of these companies, I'll put them up on the screen for you. So here's all 25. I recommend the fill in beard worked for every single one of these uh, oils from these companies. Yeah, there's a couple that maybe probably stood out just a little bit more, or if it was a brand new company that I never tried before, and I was like super impressed uh, with some stuff, but I cannot rank them. Um, and, and I think it would do an injustice if I were to like pick five companies uh, when every one of these, the oil works for me. It kind of depends on the day or what mood I'm in, or you go back and revisit a company later and you think you remember one thing and then it works a little bit different. So guys, I am not going to make a video this year about the top feeling beard oils. Things have changed so much from when I first started doing uh, this almost, almost four years ago. Um, it, back then there were it was hit or miss like uh first of all when you have a brand new beard you're a new beardsman you're not really in tune with uh the feel in beard uh and then after i started doing reviews somebody said you know you never mentioned feel in beard uh how the the oil feels feels to you it's like well they all felt the same and then you start working on you start tweaking stuff and you start being aware of those things and um you start noticing them. And after I started noticing them, that became a thing. And like I really kind of become hyper focused on it <clears throat> and felt really in tune with my beard. Uh, and back then, you know, one out of every three companies, maybe the, the oil maybe not work so well for you. You know, it would smell good, but it would just kind of feel you know, your beard would feel, you know, it wouldn't feel super dry, but it would just kind of not feel super soft. Um, or it would feel okay for a little while, but it wouldn't last for hours and hours. So the companies have come such a long way. I don't know if it's because uh, the, the information's out there more or the uh, ingredients, the carrier oils is more accessible now. Getting good quality carrier oils has been sourced the right way. I don't know what it is, but uh, I think we're living in a good time to have a beard because the beer products these days are on point. The scents are much better than they used to be and more complex, a lot more to choose from on the market. Everything's not just pine. So I have expanded my beard oil horizons in some other ways. I got to try uh, some emu oil blends for the first time, several different ones over the last half of 2021. So you can go back and check it out, that out. I did a, a specific video just talking about uh, my experiences with some of those in the different companies. I uh, tried um, an oil that had CBD in it for the first time, um, and that worked really well for me. You can check out that video. I did a video where uh, I tried an oil that had the BTMS in it. That worked well for my beard. You can check that one out. So um, not just uh, your regular run-of-the-mill uh, run beard oils, some specialty ingredients. Also try beard oil that had the Inland Sea Minerals in it. Uh, that worked well for my beard as well. I uh, tried specialty blends that were just for gray beards, a couple different companies. All of those worked for me. So there's really nothing I can complain about with filling beer from these oils, which is pretty amazing. But I am planning on doing a top sentence of the year. And I think I'm going to do a top um, butters of the year just to, to give you some more information. But uh, I'll definitely rank the scents video. I don't know if I'll rank the butters video or not, but I'll do what I can for you. But I wanted to, to give you this and kind of show you, tell you my experiences with all 25 of these companies. Uh, everything worked well for me. Let me know if you agree. If you've been around uh, the, the, the bearding small batch industry here for a long time, do you agree? Do most of the oils now work for your beard in, in, a, in, a, in a good way? 
and very rarely, I think maybe over the past couple of years, there's only been a couple that uh, just like, it's, it's just not working for me. Um, so we won't mention those here, but overall, great experience, and uh, I think we're in a good place. But as always, guys, I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you soon for some of those other uh, top videos of the year.